Good morning! Today is a really exciting day. So for a very long time now I've been saying that I want to dye my hair like a strawberry blonde copper color and if you've been following for a long time you might remember that I did like a peachy color probably maybe nearly four years ago I want to say and I loved it. It was just like a washout conditioner but it lasted a few washes and I really, really liked it. And ever since then, I've been kind of wanting to go back to that color, but I've just been like waiting for the right time. And this time I wanna make it a little bit more lived in. Obviously, who knows what will happen. Things might change when I talk to my hairdresser, but I'm planning on doing something a little bit more permanent, just because the last one literally was like a conditioner that washed out, but I'm just obsessed with this hair color. I know that copper hair has become like a really big trend lately, but since I am so blonde, I think going like full on copper would be quite a transition. So I'm thinking strawberry blonde might be a nice way to go. That way I won't have to like dye my eyebrows or anything like that as well. But I'm so, so excited and I'll bring you along for the process. If you didn't know, I go to Bixie Color. I've been going to them for years and Cherie the owner is the best. So I'm gonna head there very shortly and bring you along for the whole process. So here's a before of my hair. It's got very, very long. I don't know if you can tell that, but it does need a good trim just to thicken it up and make it healthy again. I'm excited to see how different it looks. This will probably be one of the last clips that you see with the blonde hair. You don't find this, you got me I don't want to break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's so many ways to be happy I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Holy sh! <laughs> I'm vlogging. <laughs> I love it. Hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so, so obsessed. So, I said earlier that I was going to go more strawberry blonde. And not that this isn't strawberry blonde, but it is more copper than I originally like planned. And this is actually like the base color. And we were going to add in other like blondie tones and stuff afterwards. So Sheree, my hairdresser, said that the way that like it works is that you go over your hair with a gloss, which is what she did. And then afterwards you go in with the other tones. But we did the gloss and we just loved how it took to my natural color so much straight away. Like even my natural roots it took to which apparently doesn't happen all the time. And we thought, you know what? We don't even need to add any other colors to it. So I absolutely love it. And the good thing is that it's gonna fade out really, really nicely and grow out nicely with my roots because it did take to my natural roots quite well. So apparently this lasts about 20 washes, so it will like fade over time. But I have a feeling that I'm gonna go back and keep getting my hair done this color for a little while because I absolutely love it. And the funny thing is, Obviously I don't have like red brows or copper brows, but I feel like my brows kind of look like they're the same color as my hair. Maybe that's just me, but I don't know if it's the tanning drops that I put on my face yesterday and if that's made my eyebrows go a bit more open, but I swear they look a bit more tinted. Anyway, they did such a good job and it's gonna be a really nice break for my hair to not have foils as well because we didn't have to do any foils. She literally just put the gloss on my hair, left it on for a bit, then we washed it off. That was it. So I think it's going to be great for my hair health. And also a makeup artist called Claudia did my makeup and she was so, so lovely. I feel like the copper tones that she did on my eyes just like really complement the hair. And 
yeah, I really, really like the bronzy skin as well that she did. It's very glowy, bronzy. Absolutely love it. But anyway, now I'm actually off to another really exciting appointment. So I'm going to be going and getting my teeth whitened for the first time. So I've never actually done this before, but my sister actually went to this place a few weeks ago and she had a really good experience. She had no teeth pain or anything like that. So the business is called Teeth Whitening by Jess and they're like a mobile teeth whitening company. So they can come to your house, but I think they also work as some studios. So I'm gonna go to a makeup studio and get mine done. So I need to get going to that appointment today. Everything's kind of back to back because after that as well, I'm going to the city, I believe, because we're going to Brayden's sister Tanea's dancing concert tonight. So yeah, everything's back to back, but I feel completely ready because I've got my hair and makeup done. So at least I won't have to come back and like do all that stuff. Anyway, enough chat, let's go. now Saturday I took the day off of vlogging yesterday because I was having a really tired day I'm not sure if it's just the fact that I'm like fighting off a bug at the moment or if it's the fact that my period's on its way but I was so tired I had like a four hour nap yesterday which I never do but I think I really really needed that and also I never gave you guys an after of my teeth because straight after I got my teeth widened on Thursday I went straight to Tanea's dance concert which was amazing. So she actually goes to Brent Street, which is like an amazing dance school in Sydney. So it was their dance concert and I was like amazed. She is insane. They're all insane. It was it was so cool to go along and see. And every single time I go to something like that, not that I go to that kind of thing a lot, but anytime I see any dancer dance, I'm just like, how? How do you do that? And it always makes me want to be able to do it. But I, I'm a bit stiff. Even when I was younger and I did dancing, I was just I was never good at it. It's not my thing, but I really enjoy watching other people do it. And anyway, sidetrack. But yeah, it's Saturday now and I wanna bring you guys along for the weekend. We're gonna have a festive, fun weekend. We plan on doing a lot of Christmas shopping and then I'm pretty sure there's some Christmas markets on in Cronulla this weekend as well. So I wanna go and check them out. And I also wanna go and get my nails done at some point and get like Christmas nails. I was gonna do that yesterday, but like I said, didn't go to plan, had a very chill day. But also, let's give you guys an after of my tea. Ah, I love them so, so much. I mean, I feel like you guys probably haven't seen like a close-up of my teeth anyway on camera, because why would I do that? But like they were a little bit stained and stuff, just from coffee and all that kind of thing. And also, I've had this thing with my teeth ever since I was young. It is quite common, honestly. Like, I feel like a lot of people have this. But I had, like, a little bit of, like, patchiness on my teeth where, like, there was lighter patches. I'm not even sure what caused it. It's something that I've had since I grew my adult teeth. But, yeah, just, like, a little bit of discoloration, which really didn't bother me. But whenever I've, like, widened my teeth at home with, like, teeth whitening strips in the past, it's always, like, really enhanced those like extra white bits if that makes sense so I was a little bit worried about that and I addressed it with the girls like when they were whitening my teeth and they were like you know what it probably will go wider but then after two days it like goes away and I was like oh well that's fine anyway they did it and I swear they didn't go wider like maybe just because the rest of my teeth went wider as well it just looked the same to me but if anything I'm looking at my teeth now and I feel like it's really evened it out I just wanted to say that in case any of you guys have wanted to get your teeth whitened before but you like have the same thing as me and then that's caused you to not want to do it but anyway then they gave me this like little pen and I just have to pop it on my teeth every three hours until the pen runs out and this just helps continue the whitening process okay now i'm gonna end up talking really weird but um i just also wanted to say that it's been a very painless process which i was really happy with because i've heard that sometimes teeth whitening can cause you to have like pain so i was kind of expecting that and it's been completely fine anyway happy saturday i think brayden and i are gonna go to cronulla now and go get some brekkie <laughs> Mart right now 
bumped into Jesse and Geordie and uh, we've we've dragged the boys into Kmart. I say dragged because they didn't really. Brayden well, did actually, not want to be. Geordie, I think Geordie didn't mind. Brayden didn't want to come in, but. I really wanted to have a look at the Black Friday sale and then Jessie's wanted to get some frames for Your my friends. friends because they smashed and fell off the wall. I probably need to hang it up like better because we're in a rental I could yeah. like drill into the wall so I've like stuck them on. Yeah, she used command hooks but I which, think I might do something different or like yeah. get a different one. Which is so weird because mine have never fallen smashed. down and that's how I stuck mine on so I feel like I don't know. I don't know what happened. So I I'm wondering if more. the Kmart frames have like a gloss on them or something that makes them extra slippery. I'm not sure. Mm. But there's this like viral like Christmas candle at Kmart, right? Called the what is it called? The Christmas cookie candle. Mm -hmm. And Jesse's been dreaming about it. Yeah, I dreamt that I like got it, and because it's like yeah. no one has it. There's literally like two here. One looks like okay. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get one too. Um. But it's in a different packet. I think it's in. No, that's nicer. The other one looks more kitty with the freckles yeah, on it. Yeah, I kind of like that. Well, I like it. Well, so this is Christmassy with the red. Jordy, Jordy, it's a lucky day. It's a lucky They're day. caught up talking. <laughs> you found it. We found it. Oh, nice. <laughs> we should get one too. I okay, am gonna get one. I think there's only two left. We just spent like eight hours at Westfield, which I think is a record. It is. And I went and got my nails done. They're like candy cane nails. Yeah, very nice, Brayden. Love, love your very clean girl nails. Um, mine kind of match the hair. But yeah, I like them. They're definitely a bit different, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get the festive nails now. I asked the girl who was doing my nails. I was like, oh, have you had many people come in and get red nails for Christmas already? And she's like, no. <laughs> I was like, Really? <laughs> anyway, she's like, yeah, it usually happens like halfway through December. So I'm just really getting in the festive spirit early. So yeah, this is, can you hear our neighbors? So this is what they look like, but that was a very successful shopping trip. Yes. And we're gonna do the rest of the shopping online this evening, we think, just to make the most of the Black Friday sales. But I got a couple of things for me as well from Kmart. So. I'll show you guys. So this is not from Kmart. This is from Seaweed and Sand, but we walked in and Brayden was like, oh, Ella, I really like this octopus. <laughs> I think it's cute. So we've got this as a piece of home decor. So new little octopus edition. Sorry, but how cute is this wrapping paper that we got? Buddy the Elf wrapping paper. So I actually went to Peter Alexander and bought myself a pajama top because last year my friend Jess bought me these pajama bottoms, but they'd run out of the matching top by the time she purchased the bottoms. And then I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get this because I feel like this completes the set. It's so cute and Christmassy. So I'm really, really happy that I got that. I bought a jewelry box and I've been eyeing this off for a long time. This is called the five tier jewelry box with a lid from Kmart. And my plan is to sell that jewelry mirror that I've got in the bedroom. Cause honestly, I don't use it that much. And I just feel like the room would be a lot more spacious without it. And I'm thinking of buying like a wooden mirror, like a, an oak colored mirror that would match the room a lot better. And yeah, so I'm thinking of selling that and moving all my jewelry into this. I think it's so nice. And for $42, amazing. Brayden, yes. do you find me more attractive with red nails? What? Because there's a red nail theory where it's like when you have red nails, boys like find you attractive. What? I don't know. There's this like theory on TikTok where people get their nails red and then it's like an attraction test or something like I don't know, apparently I've it never heard such a thing. Uh, it's a TikTok thing I've seen. Anyway, that's not why I got it because obviously I don't think that you need to be more attracted to me. <laughs> but just curious. It doesn't make a difference. Okay. <laughs> that's good to know. This just looks like a mini chest of drawers. Ooh, oh, I love wait, this is huge. So you can put all of the rings and stuff in here. Oh wow. Wait, hold on, let me tilt it up so you can see. I put all the, the rings and stuff in there. And then we've got 
this drawer, this drawer, another drawer, and another one. I'm so excited to burn this. I'm gonna do it right now. This is actually huge. It smells like, like cookies. It smells like a candle. My candle's better. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Yum. That sounds, that smells absolutely delicious. I popped on the Christmas PJs. What do we think? I just think these are the ultimate Christmas pajamas. I've seen quite a few people with these ones as well and I just think they're so festive. I really like them. So let's light this candle. Another random gift idea is one of these lighters. It's like a USB lighter and it's just really satisfying. If you have someone around you who loves candles, they probably love this. You just like plug it in the wall to charge it and it's so satisfying. Oh, it smells so nice. Happy Sunday. We're both a bit tired today. I don't know if you can tell, but um, I'm hoping that getting out is going to perk us up a little bit. We've still been getting up like a lot earlier after getting back from Hawaii, which has been so good. But um, I, think, I think you could have done with a bit more sleep this morning. Yeah, definitely. You were a bit too committed. But yeah, we've come to Cronulla because they actually have Christmas markets on at the moment. I'm so happy I found out about this because I just randomly the other week Googled like best Christmas markets mm. in Sydney. So I was like, I need to know. I need to plan ahead. And yeah, apparently there's ones in Cronulla and they're quite early as well. Like end of November. I feel like yeah. that's quite early for Christmas markets. So yeah, we're going to go down there and meet up with some friends, but We've still got an hour to kill, so I think I'm going to go get an acai bowl. I just, I'm really craving one. I don't know. I just really feel like it. You've been and mentioning coffee. it for a few days now. Yeah. yeah. Let's go get some acai coffee. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wanted to pick up the camera because Brayden and I just got home from doing a very spontaneous Kmart click and collect pickup. So I don't know if I talked about this. I don't think I did. But the other day when we went to Kmart, I was hoping to pick up this like oak mirror that I'd seen online, which was actually part of the Black Friday sale that they were doing. Well, it still is. I actually managed to get on sale today, which I'm very happy about. But anyway, they didn't actually have it there, even though it said that they had it online. But yeah, they didn't have it. I've seen a couple of people talk about this mirror on TikTok. So anyway, I was sold and I was like, I really want to get that mirror and sell my other one that I've got, which is also like my jewelry mirror, move that jewelry into my new jewelry box, etc. And so yeah, anyway, I found the mirror at a Kmart that was like a little bit further away from us. So I decided to go and get it. It's currently in the box, so we'll get that out in a second, but I'm so excited to see what this looks like. So this is the mirror that I'm gonna sell, and I think I'm gonna put the wooden mirror here just because it'll be nice like to take mirror photos and stuff because I've got the windows there. So let's see how it looks. So here it is. What do you guys think? It's a little bit smaller than I expected, like a little bit shorter, but I think anything too big would just like clutter the space to be honest. So yeah, I'm going to really like being able to use this for like photos and stuff. And I just think the wood obviously matches the vibe in the room so, so much more. And we've got a lot more space in the corner now as well. So that was literally only $80. I think $87 from Kmart in the Black Friday sale, which I think is pretty good. And I'm pretty sure it's new as well. So I love a good Kmart find. I'm now actually gonna pop all of my jewelry in my new little jewelry organizer that I showed you guys the other day. I think I'm gonna keep this in the bathroom just to keep this area a bit more clutter free, but I've just moved it out here for now, but I love this. Another really great deal that I got that I think is gonna be so helpful.
now the next morning and I wanted to come on here and end off the vlog. I'm so happy with how the room looks. Let me know what you guys think. But I just feel like switching out that mirror made the biggest difference. Like I keep walking in the room and I'm like, this just feels really complete now. I'm very, very happy with how it looks. But yeah, I wanted to come on and end off this vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And let me know what you think of the hair. I am so, so happy with it. I've washed it once now so i don't know i feel like you always feel like it looks a little bit more lived in after you've washed it for the first time after going to the hairdressers and i just i'm obsessed i also just can't wrap my head around the fact that my brows almost look the same color as my hair even though like i haven't dyed them i swear it's the tanning drops but i also wanted to let you guys know that there's going to be a lot more festive content coming up because i'm going to be doing a weekly vlogmas i did this last year and it worked really well for me i really don't know how people manage to do daily vlogmas i always think about doing it because i love filming but I guess the editing is the thing that takes the longest. And I know people could get an editor, but I just, I don't know, I like editing my own videos and that's kind of the fun of it for me, like going through and finding music and stuff. So I think I'm going to stick to the weekly vlogmas so I can get like the best of both worlds. But if you're not subscribed to the channel already and you want to keep up, please make sure you subscribe. And also you can turn the notification bell on, which I think might be quite helpful because I swear there's so much content that comes out from all sorts of creators in December that sometimes like videos can get a little bit lost. Also, there's lots of content coming on TikTok and Instagram. Instagram. I'm going to do some gift guides and I'm also going to film a gift guide for YouTube because you guys said in my last video that you'd love to see that. But in the meantime, sorry, I feel like I'm just like giving you guys a bunch of word vomit. But in the meantime, if you do want some like gift inspiration, I have actually created like a Google Docs page, which I'll link down below, which has a bunch of gift ideas on there. And I've split everything into different price ranges. And I've also split everything into different categories. I've only got four different categories so far. I've got wellness, fashion, and fitness gifts, but I'm going to continue adding to that as well. But anyway, I do plan on doing like a proper sit down gift guide video, but oh, I'm so excited. Can you tell that I love this time of year? It literally makes me so happy. And I don't know, I just feel really inspired at the moment and I'm just loving creating. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the content as well. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye.